Look at that, Bird Street. Look where we are. Look at that sky. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And just for you, Andy. Can you see that? Where are we? There we go. I think it's what does it say? Fourteen point five. And I think it's twenty one point eight. Boy, it's hot. You could probably guess where they are. So this is to do with, if I can show you those, so propane connectors. So I'm going to get on with it now and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I have a propane bottle and I have a propane uh, gas burner, the shower. I also have on the floor, which I've been told, which I'll show you in a minute, two propane, uh, I wouldn't say industrial, but I would say catering type cookers. And they've worked okay, but uh, someone pointed out not long ago on uh, YouTube, on my channel, that I'm using the wrong regulators. I should be using high pressure regulators, which I can adjust. And on this one, I'll just bear with me a second. This is the first one I got, and I wasn't too impressed with it, and I can probably know why. So I've done this, and this is a high pressure regulator, and it makes a difference. But I don't want to test it too much because... This connector is something like a 6mm, 5mm, but it's supposed to be 8mm. And I'm short of a jubilee clip, so it's a bit dubious and I don't want to do that. So I'll show you what I've bought and see if they work. I'm not going to throw the regulator away because it's a good one, but it's just the wrong size. If I can get a different adapter for that, I would. And then, can I take him off? And then we have this one, which is a cheapy low pressure regulator I'm not going to throw it in because I quite like these and but they're an, an, handy for connecting quick connecting because of the rubber connection on the end you just put it into the bottle anti-clockwise and boom no spanners no re anything required they do seal quite well but I'm going to swap them for something else and I'll show you that now so I don't know if everybody else has seen these before off eBay but they're propane, I, don't, I think, they're, well, they're propane butane connectors. Uh, which way is it? That way. Oh, okay, I have to go and fetch that. So they separate. So what you do is you connect the one end of the hose into that. So you're going to have to use a, going to cut a piece of hose off and put it to the new regulator. And I'll show you that now. Well done. That's the new one. So it's got the brass fitting at the end, which is fine. It's no problem because I'll leave this connected to the bottle. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the same with the shower. We'll see. So you'll see the nozzle on the end is an 8mm nozzle. So I've got to cut a piece of flex, put it on there, and then put on this adapter. So if you can imagine then, so a bit of, not too much, a bit of flex. I mean, the piece I've got there might work, actually. Hose, I mean, bit of hose, bit of hose. Jubilee clip, jubilee clip, and then we'll see what happens. And then on the each end of each hose, we fit a nozzle. Oh, that does. Fits in like that. Put it back. Let's give it a run, let's give it a try. A good one this is and the difference is where the difference is hold on let's get him off so this one um propane regulator guess we go so 500 to 4000 millibar well these i think are set to what's we're in 7000 1.5 kgs I've tried it before, give it a go. If it blows up, no. Blows up. Oh, blimey, that's on tight. Give me a sec. Oh, put those Uber clips on one, wasn't it? All right, there we go. Right. So, what we need now is a piece of pipe. 
So we'll get this one off as well. Well, I'll undo this and then I'll get back to you. We might put a nice, I don't think I'll use that. I think I'll get a nice piece of fresh stuff. I'm going to cut me a piece off. Right like that. Um, hold on. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it on the floor. I'm going to cut my hand. <laughs> so I'll put him on there. Tighten that up. One end done. The next one is that one. Oh, no, it's not. It's that one. <laughs> then that. And that's the end that fires out the missile, the projectile. There you go. I'll take him out if you want. There you go. So we'll push him in. All right. He's a snug fit. Put him same way up. There we go. I'll tighten that up. Okay. I can't emphasize more than get them really tight. We don't need leaks. Last thing you want is a jet of air, uh, gas flying everywhere. So there we go. So now we'll connect this to the bottle. Well, we'll put the other connectors now on each of the cookers. So that'll be one of these in focus. There we go. On each one I'm not going to put it on the shower at the moment because I don't I think the shower is if anybody can correct me um, low pressure anyway so I'll put one of these in each one I'll use the floor for my push oh, there you go it's quite a snug fit <laughs> you had to do a little bit of washing up looking for that one okay so I'll tighten him up Okay, make sure it's a really good fit. You can see the way it bulges on each side. I've got that pretty tight. Okay, give it there. We go. There we go. So we'll give that a go in a minute once I've done the other one. So so a quick release. Mm. Right. So they should be. That one looks slightly longer. Is it? I think they're all the same. Yeah. Right. Let's connect it and see what happens. Just before I connect to the bottle, I just thought I'd show you. Those are the Jubilee clips that I've used, which I think are brilliant. All right, good ones, get you in focus. All right, and for that one, same type. We call them Jubilee clips. I don't know what the Americans call them, but they tell me something different. And then this one I don't like. I think it's a cheap little nasty one and i'm going to change that when i get back and get some more clips because it's just too flimsy for my liking Propane, opposite thread, of course, we always think differently. I bought one of these and it came from China. Word of warning, don't get one. <laughs> Pay the extra. Um, it, it didn't fit. Well, actually, it fitted in here, but this just did not tighten. It was rubbish. I had to send it back, which cost me in fees for returns <clears throat> make sure it's nice and tight okay
Okay, so the first cooker we're going to test is the Viper. Move the leads right out of the way, as you do. Okay, bring that. So you guys can see. I'll bring in position. Two seconds. Okay, let's turn them both off, make sure they're off. There's an adjustable screw underneath here. So this, remember, this is like a, a quite a mild sort of little flame. This is all the way in at the moment. Okay, so we have pressure. Little flame thrower. The first one. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna... Ah, so... It's on full pressure. That's better. Oh, sorry, I'll just show you that. So she was on full pressure. Roll the way down is full pressure. Right. Okay. Well, that's a big difference, that is. Whoa. So I release the pressure a bit. That's a better burn now. We didn't have that before. And I can release the pressure as well on here. Let's try the second one. Of course, when you put this one on, You can see that we zoom in. So it'll take some twiggling with. I mean, these screws here they alter the flame. You see, this flame adjusts less air. So that's a bit you need a good blue flame. So just be a matter of getting adjusted with it. But both equal. There you go. Okay, pretty good. Simmer in. Good cookers. £37 off eBay. I'll put a link in the description below. I haven't done a test on these yet. We'll do a cooker test on these. Let's do the other one now and see how that fares. Okay, so turn her off. Make sure they're off. And turn you round. Zoom out. Oh, in, sorry. And <laughs> this bit. Quick release. Right, move <laughs> to one side. This is the first one I bought. And uh, it's quite a, a large area there. I'll show you that. I'm not seeing that. Hold on. Right, so he's in. Right, so this one they wouldn't even ignite properly when I first got it, so pressure on. There we go. Okay, all right, there we go. So this one can handle a bit more pressure, I believe. So we'll turn this. Yeah. Look at that. That's more like your wok. Can you see that? Oh, it's getting warm in here now. What are we up to? 24 degrees. Yeah, so we can increase the pressure or lower it, but also this is your air intake here, so you can slide that back or forth. I've got it right, I think, so. And simmer. So before, this would go out, 
and it would backfire. Poof. It's like a sound effect. But that's simmering now, look at that. Just simmering. There you go. If you like the vid give it a thumbs up that would be great uh subscribe button this end and the latest videos coming up which will be the cooker ones coming up at that end um, we'll do a test on these as well boil test or whatever each one uh take care catch you in the next vid yeah brilliant oh and i'll put a link uh for these i'll put a link for those as well so you've got multiple connectors. You can even use motorhomes and caravans. Unless you've got external showers or you want an external shower using a get up a gas bottle. All right, take care. Catch you next vid. Bye. Okay, so in, yeah, just to finish off, that can stay on there now. I haven't got to move it. And I might actually put one on the shower, to be honest with you. Because that way I can adjust the pressure and I haven't got to disconnect anything then. I just plug each individual device in whenever I feel like I want to use it. Oh, no need for spanners or anything, just push fits. Okay, take care. Sorry. Bye.